What's up, KB Nation? It's your girl, Rick Rochelle, and I'm back with another vlog. Yeah, I'm currently at Walmart because tonight I am making fish po' boys. Last night I made shrimp po' boys, and I forgot to record because I was so tired. Please don't come for me, okay? Y'all, so we back home, right? And I, I, you know, I told myself I wasn't going to talk about it. But I'm going to talk about it. I heard. <laughs> Y'all, somebody sent me a video yesterday. And... In the video, it talks about how someone used their key to break into someone's apartment, right? And I wasn't gonna say too much about it. But the reason I'm choosing to speak on it is, now why in the fuck would I drive to bumfuck Egypt to go motherfucking steal something from a bitch that I could've motherfucking stole something from two months ago? The same bitch that called the cops on me. This same bitch that I wanted to beat up. Why in the fuck would I do that? I just really want it up. I just really want it up. Y'all don't send me no more bill, no more BS, okay? One, I can tell you now, I lived with her. She ain't have nothing to steal, okay? <laughs> that's the least of my worries. Y'all, so like I said, that's all I'm gonna say about it. But I just thought that was the funniest shit ever. And I will say, yes, in the moment, it did make me mad. It did. Because... The fact that people still worrying about me when I actually chose to leave them alone is crazy because one thing about me, I know what I'm capable of. And if I really wanted to do anything to somebody, believe me, you don't have to worry about it. You wouldn't have to wonder. You wouldn't have to think about it. I would have did it. And that's my whole point. Anyways, secondly, LOL, y'all probably seen some of my complex. I don't care about y'all seeing it. I have nothing to hide and I ain't running from nobody. So let's move on. Um, I just, we just came back from the store. I am going to be making fish. I made shrimp po' boys, which I did not take a picture. I didn't do none of them. I'm so sorry. But I will be making some more tonight so y'all can see them. I'm making fish and shrimp po' boys tonight. Um, we got french fries. We got the fish. We got everything we need for that. So y'all stay tuned for that. I'll be back. Right there. Y'all, I'm about to cook dinner, but we had to go make another errand because somebody just needs something every five seconds. Yeah. Like, she said that she needed more diapers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. So, y'all, we're going to go make one more stop, and then we're going to come home, and I'm going to... I'm going to do the bait. When we come home, I'm basically going to fry the fish, fry the shrimp, fry the french fries, and then I'm going to make our actual sandwiches when we when we're ready to eat them. But right now, y'all, I'm just trying to watch Zeus. Can I just sit down and watch TV? That's all I want to do. Watch a, watch a little TV. That's all. Is that too much to ask? No, it ain't too much to ask. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm finally, we finally back, and y'all, I'm a little sleepy, so I am about to fry us some fish, and I'm gonna fry the rest of this shrimp from earlier, so we were supposed to make fish po' boys, but we basically making fish sandwiches because I got buns, because I was like, I just felt like that was a lot, and then we have the last two po' boys for the shrimp, which I'm not even sure if... I know I'm gonna eat a fish sandwich, but I'm probably just gonna eat the shrimp and fries by itself. It doesn't matter how we eat it, but guess what? When we eat it, y'all gonna see me eat it. Um, I have the grease getting hot in the deep fryer now. So the only thing I'm really finna do at this moment is basically season my fish and my shrimp on this cutting board, and then we're gonna prepare the fish fryer, okay? So, okay, y'all. So, we got our fish and the rest of our shrimp, okay? So, I already told y'all before, I put mustard on everything. So if you do not season, you don't put mustard on your meat. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I do put mustard on everything. <clears throat> I'm not gonna put a lot because the fish fry is already actually like seasoned. So I don't want to add too much extra seasoning to it. So that's not what I'm gonna do. Um, Y'all, y'all don't believe me. I really just fell in love with this seasoning, okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of this and a little bit of salt and pepper on this and then that's gonna be it because everything else is in the fish fry already. So. We're just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit over top because of course I gotta massage it in. 
And I'ma keep saying this every video because I'm not gonna stop getting my nails long, okay? I'm not gonna stop doing that. So I'm gonna say every video, yes, I wash my hands. I don't know if y'all haven't noticed by now, but I'm a, I'm a fairly clean person, okay? Like, I'm not going to cook and my, I got shit under my nails. Like, that's nasty. I don't know if that's what y'all were thinking, but that's not that. Yes, anyone else? Clean. Always clean. Okay, I don't understand. And also, I've been cooking for six to eight years and my nails have always been long. I've cooked for y'all favorite comedians with my nails long, okay? And I, everybody sees my nails. It's not like you can hide them. I have man hands. It's not like I can hide my fingers. The fuck? So, yeah, that's besides the point. So, now that you've seasoned it a little bit, you're just going to rub it in. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to go rub it in. We just wanted to have that little yellowish tint, you know. Now, a lot of people be like, oh, I've never noticed that. Yeah, because when y'all go to places, the meat usually has a yellowish tint because they put mustard on it. I don't, I don't know why we got to keep talking about the benefits of mustard, but we might have to keep talking about the benefits of mustard. Mustard is a binder. It holds your seasoning in place. Y'all see that? It gives a little color and all that good stuff. It really don't have too much flavor. It doesn't alter the flavor. It don't do anything. Now, with fish... I've heard people actually like to eat their fish with mustard um, because people like the way mustard and fish taste together. I will honestly say I've tried that. That's not my forte. <laughs> I need hot sauce with my fish. I'm sorry. Um, but I will say this is going to be busting. So I just seasoned everything. We rubbed it in, did all that good stuff. Now I'm about to prepare my fish fry and we're going to start frying it. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so we using New Orleans seasoned fish fry. Now, I ain't gonna lie, when it comes to certain stuff, Cajun, and you know, me being from Texas, I just feel like Louisiana is the place for all of that, but I have recently learned it's not completely true. But I've also realized, well, let me, let me clarify. Cajun is Louisiana, but everything seafood is not Louisiana. So I'll say that, but I've never heard of Cajun cuisine like somewhere other than Louisiana for real, unless you in Texas. And that's just because we, we, we damn near one in the same since Katrina. Okay. If you don't know about Katrina, go ask somebody, but don't ask me because I ain't from there. And I'm not finna offend no motherfucking body. But we, we've been the same since Katrina. Okay. So therefore we know how to do Cajun and Tex-Mex and all that stuff. And they do too. Okay. People don't realize that Texas is low key like a border state to a lot of stuff. So we have a lot of different cultures like Mexican food out here. People be like, oh, you want the best Mexican food? Go to Cali. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get that. But maybe that's just because I'm from Texas. I don't know. I just feel like we closer to Mexico. Why would you get better Mexican food in California? But then again, when you think about it, California is low key close to Mexico, too. Look, this is why <laughs> this, this is why I'm just proud to be an American. I don't even care about the rest of it at this point. I lied. I'm not really proud to be American, but I'ma just, you know, all the Americans that are proud that are watching this, I'ma let y'all have y'all moment. Yeah, yeah, I'ma let y'all have y'all moment because it's not like I know another thing to be. I've been American my whole life. So anyways. So you guys, I'm about to drop, I just dropped the first piece of fish. Literally, I'm deep frying it, so I'm going to show y'all how it look when it come out. I'm going to show y'all how everything look when it come out. And then we're going to move on to the french fries. And then, of course, y'all just need to see the me making my fish sandwich process. And that's really going to be about it. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So, my fish and shrimp is done. Look at that. Golden. Crispity, crunchy. Delicious. Okay. I'm probably not even saying words for real, but delicious, okay? I really want to eat one of these shrimp. Hot, but delicious. Hot. Most of them. But she's gonna be fine. Good one today. I'm gonna say no. Yeah. I like eating everything, y'all. Straight out the grease. I don't know why. 
I've been big my whole life. A group is a fat kid. You know, what did you say? Fat kids, they gonna eat it straight out the grease because we need to, the objective used to be to get it and run before somebody saw me with it. Mama drop a piece of chicken. I'm picking up that piece of chicken expeditiously. Y'all, she be really trying to avoid saying hey to y'all when she come in my camera. Hey, y'all. <laughs> the only thing left for me to do is to fry the french fries. And, and then, of course, I'm gonna show y'all the sandwiches when we make them. I ain't gonna lie, them shrimp probably gonna be on the side. It's giving like fish sandwich with shrimp and fries. That's what it's giving, cause that shrimp was good spot. Okay? Um, but yeah, I'm about to go ahead and fry the rest of these french fries, and then I'm gonna show y'all when the french fries come out, and then, mm -hmm. and then, yeah. Y'all, Bay just said something, and it's so funny. Now, am I the only person that feel like, Y'all ever been in a grocery store aisle <clears throat> and you know you got like this much space, but then no offense to the, you know, the non-black people. I do love y'all, but y'all is fucking funny. It'd be this much space and literally they will walk past you and say, let me squeeze right past you right now. Let me squeeze right past you. But what pisses me off is it will be like this much space between us and they'd be like, let me, let, me, let me squeeze for the fish. And they'll be like, bro, you didn't have to squeeze. You could have just walked. Like, I don't know. That is That kills me every time it happens. And that happens to me a lot. And I'll be like, is it because I'm big that you feel like you got to squeeze past me? Because you really could just walk past me. You could have ran past me. You and a whole nother person could have walked side by side past me. Why is you playing? But anyways, I just wanted to say that because I just thought about it. And that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, so our fries are done. I'm about to put them in the microwave with the rest of our food, okay? I'm gonna go take a shower. <laughs> and I'm gonna be back when it's time to make our plates. Okay, you guys, so I showered and now I'm back, okay? So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toast my buns. The best way to toast the buns is to put mayo on it. I don't know. That's not something I really do all the time, but I've been seeing people doing it online, so I tried it and I was like, mm, it actually really works. So I'm about to toast my buns and then we're gonna start assembling our sandwich. Okay, y'all. So I kind of forgot for a second and I made Bay sandwich already. Now look at it, it looked good though. And then she got her shrimp and her fries and this is an extra piece of fish I'm gonna put in the fridge. So, for mine, I have mustard, mayo, and then I got my Swiss cheese, cause they don't eat cheese. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my lettuce on now. And then it's fish, so I ain't gonna lie, I'm about to put ketchup and hot sauce on it. Don't talk about me, it don't matter. It's my sandwich, okay? But I'm about to go ahead and finish assembling this, and then I need to heat up my fries. And then, <laughs> wait. I'm dropping lettuce all over the floor, okay? This is why, this is why I forgot. We're not gonna talk about it. Okay, because I'm really allergic to lettuce. I'm not allergic to lettuce. I'm allergic to all things green, you know? Like exercising, all that. I'm gonna stop telling people that for somebody to believe that. I don't think nobody ever believed that for real. Okay, so this is kind of hot. So I'm gonna take my fish, okay? I'm gonna put it on my sandwich. On my sandwich. And then I need to get the ketchup and hot sauce. So I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I got my ketchup and then I put the hot sauce on the fish, okay? That might be a little ghetto, but I don't really care because I'm the one that's eating it and it's gonna be busting, okay? It's gonna be delicioso. That's all I know, okay? I kinda burnt this bun, we're not gonna talk about it, we're just gonna hide it from the camera, but look at my sandwich. 
It looks so good. Okay. Now, I'm about to, you know, eat my shrimp and the rest of that. And I'm about to go mind my business. So, be sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a granddaddy. This sandwich about to bust.